about smaller devices? This is a really interesting issue that people often don't talk about, but which is a huge issue if you think about the future of connected devices. All of the connected devices today that are using the cloud and that are able to take action on data they're getting on the actual device are devices that are big enough or expensive enough to house a CPU. But the reality is the vast majority of devices out there aren't big enough to house a CPU. Instead, they have a microcontroller unit or an MCU. And the number of MCU units outweighs the number of CPU units by 40 to 1. These are devices like smoke detectors or soap dispensers or most light bulbs, and they're innumerable. The vast majority of devices today are not connected to the cloud because even though these uh, MCU devices have an operating system inside, and, and the one that's used the most is FreeRTOS, those were built at a time when people weren't really thinking about the cloud, and so they can't leverage it at all. That's a problem that you really have to fix if you want to enable most devices to be connected to the cloud. So we've worked on that for the last year or so, and I'm excited to announce a new operating system called the Amazon Free RTOS, which is an IoT-connected operating system for microcontroller-based edge devices. This is pretty exciting. Um, it is, it's easy to use. If you have an existing device, you can just download Amazon Free RTOS from our console. Um, we already have an array of supported microcontrollers with country, companies like Texas Instruments and NXP Semiconductors and STM Microelectronics and Microchip. And then what we've done is it's, it's really Free RTOS that we've extended with a number of libraries that make it easy for you to connect your MCU devices to the cloud. And so what it lets you do is it lets you send data from these MCU devices to AWS, set triggers where you want to take action on those triggers in AWS, and then send the information back to the MCU units. Same way the CPU units are able to leverage the cloud today, which is, again, something that hasn't been the case forever. And then, for our customers who have these smaller devices where they don't want to make the round trip to the cloud, or they don't have connectivity to make the round trip to the cloud, they're able to still be able to take action by connecting with a Greengrass device that they have nearby. And Greengrass, again, is, the, is effectively a software module that we built that lives inside your device that has Lambda on board. So you have the same programming model on device or in the cloud with Lambda triggers. And so what you can do is Amazon Free RTOS is in it such that you can send messages to a nearby Greengrass device, have it look for those triggers, those Lambda triggers that you set, run those triggers, run that code, and then send direction directly back to the MCU units, which again is pretty groundbreaking and different than what's existed the last bunch of time. There's all kinds of capabilities built in now to do security and credential and key management. This completely opens up what is possible for, for the number of devices that exist today to be able to be connected to the cloud, get data from their devices, and take action on it. We're really excited about it.